Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to my Getting Started series of videos for 2017. Today we're back in the honey room and we're going to be taking a look at how to use one of these. And if you haven't seen this before, it's called a refractometer and it's going to tell us exactly what percentage of water we've got in our honey. So um, let's get down to the big bucket of honey that we uh, managed to extract last week and I'll show you exactly how this thing works. If you've not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. We have a growing back catalogue of videos for you. And whether you're here in the UK or perhaps your season is just starting over in Australia, I'm sure you'll find plenty of videos uh, in our various playlists to keep you busy either through the winter or to help you into the beginning of your new season. We've also got our Facebook page, which is Stuart's Beekeeping Basics. And again, we have over 2000 beekeepers there now helping each other out with tips and techniques and answering lots of the basic questions that beekeepers have when they first start. So why not have a look at that as well? And finally, don't forget our Patreon page, which is our crowdfunded page where you can help support us in producing more of these videos. But for now, let's uh, take a look at this honey and I'll show you how this refractometer works. Okay, so what we have here is our bucket of honey. Um, this is part of the extraction that we carried out last week. And if you haven't seen that video already, then please do take a look and I'll pop a link into this video so that you can connect straight with that. This is our refractometer. And uh, when you buy one of these, they come complete in a box. Uh, you'll get some instructions with them and they're very simple to use. Uh, again, I'll put some links on the description to show you where you can purchase some of these from. There are many different types available and uh, this is one of those cases of you get what you pay for. So there are some very cheap refractometers available on eBay, some of which I'm sure are very, very good but I have heard of some that haven't worked particularly well. So it might be as well to go to a beekeeping supplier and purchase one direct from a, a trusted source. So basically what we have here is a tube with a prism at one end. We're gonna place a sample of honey on this blue strip. And then once we've got the honey on this blue strip, we fold the cover plate down onto it and then we can look through the eyepiece and that will show us the reading and we'll take a reading and I'll put uh, a clip of that reading in the video so that you can see exactly what water percentage we have. Now it's really important that we check the percentage water in our honey because we don't want it to have more than 20% water because that will allow yeasts and molds to grow and particularly with yeast, you'll find that the honey will ferment in the jar and it, it will mean that the honey is then not usable. So let's show you how we take a, a sample and uh, hopefully we can uh, get an image of exactly what the water percentage is to show you as we take this live. So we've got our refractometer here. We take the cover off and then we need to take a sample of the honey. We can use a teaspoon but we need to just get the honey. So we need to just take away all of these bubbles that have settled onto the top surface. So we just move those out of the way. And then what I tend to do is to just turn the spoon around and just use the handle to dip into the clear honey. And then that honey goes onto the refractometer. pop the spoon down and then the cover plate can come down onto the honey and you'll see the pool of honey just spread across the blue prism and we want the honey to cover all of the prism so we just press down firmly and now we can take our reading Okay, so I'm fortunate enough to have an able assistant with me today. This is Adam, who's gonna take the reading from the refractometer. So if, uh, if you could just look through the refractometer eyepiece for me, Adam. And so what reading have we got there, Adam? Uh, we have uh, just over 17%. Okay, so 17% is fantastic. That means that we've got a, a really good honey and uh, there's no chance that it's going to 
cause any fermentation when it's in the jar. So as you can see, it's a really simple process using a refractometer to test for the water content of your honey. But it's something that's really important because after all of the work this season of producing a super full of honey, the last thing you want to do is to put it safely into a bucket having extracted it, only to go back to it a few weeks later and find that it's fermenting. Uh, my thanks to Adam who's joined me today to, to help record this video. Uh, next time I will be looking at getting the honey into a settling tank and then uh, decanting it into jars. So join me for that. But until then, thanks for watching.